Hello. Welcome. It's Haunt Lord time. Where are we at, Colin? We are at the Whitney in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit's own haunted mansion. I'm, it's the, it's broad daylight. The broadest, widest daylight you've ever seen. 12.30 on a Friday. And it's still maybe the single scariest place I've ever seen in my Petrified. entire life. Yeah. 1894, it was built, and that's all I know. But we got a man on the inside. For the first time, we have a, a actual guy at the place we're going who's going to walk us around, tell us the whole story, explain every single detail about every single haunting in this terrifying, gorgeous piece of property. <laughs> Let's check it out. We are here inside the beautiful entrance of the Whitney with manager Tony. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. How are we? You're a little... A little underdressed? You're a little underdressed. A little undersleeved, perhaps. Am I not, am I not allowed in here like this? Um, we'd like you to freshen up a little bit before we take you around this beautiful mansion. Yeah. Let's see what we can do about that. So, Tony, um, our purpose here today was to find out about any experiences Sure. You, staff members, anyone, stories, things you've heard sure. from this almost infamous, very old building. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I think it's always best to start with a little bit of history. Yeah. Um, why don't we, why don't you follow me this way? By all means. And, uh... Oh, wow. This... So, yeah, so this is the room that I like to give a little history lesson in, and you'll know why here in a minute. So this was Mr. Winnie's formal dining room. Okay, we've got original Tiffany chandeliers hanging up above, uh, Parisian tapestries on the walls. Um, but like I said, this is his formal dining room, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where he would have business associates, business competitors, uh, dignitaries, and the like in here, right? Mm -hmm. It's also the room, which I find hilarious. No that, way. Uh, kept his own vault. Oh, no. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the vault. What did he keep in there? Uh, gold would be my guess. Oh my yeah, God. you know, this is pre-FDIC. I just think it's hilarious. It really speaks to kind of the character of the guy that he kept his hidden vault right next to where he was dining. Dining, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know, people would keep it in their study, in their library, their bedroom. Sure. This is kind of a funny story. Well, oh. I don't know if funny's the right word for it. So the Mrs. Whitney that designed this home was not the Mrs. Whitney that lived in this home. Okay, Okay. classic. Class, oh, it gets much more classic, okay? Oh. Much more classic. So um, she actually fell down the stairs of their Girls Point home to her death. Uh, Mr. Whitney then married the younger sister uh, within one year of the older sister's death. And she was at- Fell, fell. Yeah, right. Yeah, in quotes. David, uh, you have <laughs> new dog. Wow. And, um, so the younger sister was actually the one that lived here. Historically speaking, lots of people have quote unquote passed on yeah. uh, on this property. And uh, frankly speaking, it's great for business. People, Let me ask you this, Tony. People love the paranormal. Yeah, how many how many flowers are still standing uh, tablecloth poles have happened in this room? Flowers standing tablecloth poles? You know? Yeah, no, that doesn't really happen. You've watched a lot of movies. There yeah, you, you have. We you could go. be the first. You could be the first? Uh, go for it. Give it no, a go. No, please don't. I'll, <laughs> this is, I'll, um, that's real crystal, I can tell. Is that Mr. Whitney himself? Yeah, that's the man himself. So this look. is actually kind of a funny story. So the very, very first night that I closed, okay, this clock does not work. Okay, oh. we got it working for maybe about a year and a half when yeah. I was here. Yeah. Um, but it takes so so much time and winding, it's only 72 hours. So you right, gotta okay. wind it once every three days, right? Very first night, I'm closing. I'm here by myself. I'm the only person in the building, okay? I stand on this chair. I go to turn off this lamp right here, which is, was actually installed by Thomas Edison himself. What? what? Yeah. This place is I touch this here, clock chimes in my face. I jump into that room. Yeah. <laughs> Big Taco Bell dong in your Big, face. Right in, my, right in my face. <laughs> Unbelievable. Live no moss. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, is, she, is that a person or is that a specter? Uh, that is that okay. is a specter okay. of our that is the specter <laughs> of our gardener Zoe. She's oh, fantastic. God. Hey Zoe. G Zoe, the She's garden. A culturist, I should the, say. She is much more than a gardener. The grounds are amazing. A proverbial garden of Eden. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding job. Uh, she's real. So she's that wasn't. Good. 
that wasn't a ghost. Uh, yeah, she's fantastic. Are those are yeah. AirPods outside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you point out, like, was this stained glass here always there? It is. That's original to the home. Wow. Uh, this is another original Tiffany chandelier. Wow. Wow. Tiffany herself. <laughs> she installed it. Chandled that lid. Himself. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, pardon. Louis Tiffany Jr. That's it. Um, <laughs> That's what they want you. Sure. <laughs> Uh, so this piece of stained glass um, is actually one of the stained glass in the home that's not Tiffany. Okay. This was done by John Lafarge, um, and it is in honor of all the men uh, in the Whitney family that were in fact knighted by the King and Queen of England dating back to the 13th century. Wow, so there yeah. are, are so there are an English family of origin? They are. They can actually uh, date their family actually all the way back to France before the Battle of Hastings. Oh, okay. So yeah. So Charles. sassy. Yeah. Well, are they? Charlemagne, yeah. Are the, yeah, are the Whitney? Guy. Like yeah. it. Oh, big time. Are the Whitney family Fucking still man. around? Um, you know, every once in a while, we get somebody that walks in and wants to tell us that, yeah, you know, they're... Sure. But officially, there's they're, no... They're, they have no relation the to the property. Yeah, whatever, because... The yeah, right. yeah. Cool. Well, you know, it's the same Whitney Museum in New York, same family. Oh. Eli Whitney was his first cousin. Oh, there yeah. we go. That's yeah. the, there we it's go. It's all coming together. Okay, yeah, it's all it, coming it together. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at from this. the outside, scary oh as hell. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Reaper as <laughs> creepy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. creepy from the outside, but beautiful. Yeah. So these did, these came with the house or the the fake? The, yeah, the fake the things didn't come with the house. Yeah, that was shame. <laughs> <laughs> this was their main floor with their bedrooms. Okay, Jesus. Um, this is my apartment. This yeah, right? Hallway is uh, they actually had separate bedrooms. Is <laughs> uh, his bedroom was over there. Her bedroom was over here. Oh. Um, but I want to bring it into this room. Oh, you got the Sonos Play 5 That's up right. there. That's right. That's nice. Yeah. We, got, we got to get these that speakers. That is original to We them. got to get these speakers. <laughs> the, up son, the Sonos is original yeah. to them. We're yes. big, big fans. <laughs> Big Sonos. Sonos enthusiasts, we'll get you out there. We'll get you our, our 30% off. There we'll <laughs> we go. We'll you, we'll um, so this is the most prized piece of stained glass in the entire home. No kidding. Yeah. So it is original Tiffany. Oh. Um, it's the only known window, but it's a very classic Tiffany design. If you look at it, um, flip it and turn it into a lampshade. Uh, and it is very classic. The circles around the uh, bottom of the lampshade, the flowers. You don't know anything about Tiffany. What is he doing over here? <laughs> you think this guy does? Pathetic. <laughs> Sad. Are any of these death clocks? Do you know? What is a death clock? A death clock was a clock that was very top heavy, similar to this, that was traditionally put above a bed and would fall and would kill people around this time period. And they're antiques, they're collectibles. Really? Yeah, yeah, I swear. Uh, I hope not. Yeah, I, hope uh, not. Yeah. I don't know. I've never heard of a death clock. But I like that. Pawn stars, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a couple that are like, oh, this one is from this property that's like bomb. Does it got a body on it? Because that would I, be I don't know. I don't know if there's a body count on it. I bet you Rick Rick's evaluation. Why not? Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> best I can do is four. Yeah. <laughs> so here's some, here's another really uh, cool thing. Um so look at this door, right? Yes, sir. Uh Okay, not only is it huge, solid wood, and ornate, but it's completely different on both sides. Oh. Right? Yeah. Um, is actually, that a different material or no, just a different stain? Just, just a different stain, different carving. And actually, all of the doors in the house are turned that way. Huh. To match the... Uh, just whatever the... No, to match uh, whatever room they're in when they're closed. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Yeah, see, and now all the doors match. That's such a simple yeah. idea. Yeah, and I would have never have thought that's, of it. That's crazy. Very right? cool. Well, we're going to the place where a lot of activity okay. has happened. We're going there next, okay? Wow. This is, it, you know, from the outside, obviously huge. From oh, yeah. Inside, <laughs> shockingly huge. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when, you, when you live here, you got to have rooms that you have never been in, you, that you just forget exist. It's so big. So this is the ghost bar. Caesar? Caesar? Nice. Yeah, classic. It's true. It's true. Big J. Everybody, Big knows. Everybody J. knows Big J. This is very uh, Kubrick. Very yes. Kubrick. Very shiny. Very yeah. Kubrick, yes. Um, we get that a lot. So this is originally the art gallery. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these pieces are... No, they are not original. Um, we just hung them back. I got a theory. We don't really know for sure, but I got a theory that a lot of the art and a lot of the furniture that you see in the home came from one estate sale uh -huh. because it matches too well. What? To, yeah, it makes sense. Kind yeah. of ideal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, but you didn't come here to talk about history. You came here to talk about paranormal. So let's start. Let's tell you a story. Why don't we come this way here real quick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that is a scary statue. Um, so <laughs> when I first started here, me and one of the other closing managers would move that statue around. Oh, no kidding. I, I told you. I knew just it. Just, I just, got a vibe that yeah, yeah, yeah. Been tampered with. I just like put them in a corner somewhere. So uh, you'd be walking through at the end, it'd be all dark, and you'd just kind of yeah. come out of nowhere. Oh my just God. like spun around, <laughs> looking at different right? That's good. Um, but I want to take you into this room, because I want to show you something. Okay, this, we don't know what this room was originally used for. Okay. Um, but I want to show you the back side of this door. All that. So that you can see yeah. that it is screwed shut. Yeah. Okay, see that this door is screwed shut? Yeah. All right, now. A lady comes in, middle of the day, middle of the week, okay, it's happy hour. Uh, she sits down right here at this stool, orders a drink. Uh, takes a couple sips of her drink, she goes into the restroom, she's in there for about a minute and a half, comes back out, stands here, asks for a glass of water. Bartender brings her a glass of water. She then re-enters the restroom, okay? She's in the restroom for about 12 to 15 minutes. Uh -huh. She comes back out, sits back down to her drink, okay? She's enjoying her beverage. Uh, bartender comes up to her and says, uh, are you enjoying yourself? Uh, she says, everything is fantastic, and your bathroom attendant is lovely. <gasps> now, we do not employ a bathroom attendant. Um, so, you know, Alex, the bartender at the time, says to her, you know, I apologize. You know, you must have been talking to another guest. We don't employ a bathroom attendant. I love that he I was like, uh... Hey, uh, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fucking have one. <laughs> wow. So she gets up. She goes back into the restroom. She immediately exits the restroom. She stands right here. She's talking to Alex. Says, well, where did she go? Uh, uh, yeah, and Alex looks at her being slightly sarcastic that most service industry people are. Yeah. Um, and says, I don't know. Maybe you saw a ghost. Now, said atheist lady does not only not believe in God, let alone does not believe in ghosts. Sure. Okay. Takes this very, very offensively. Oh. Okay. They get into a heated arg argument. Now, I don't know any of this, by the way. I don't know any of this. So I'm running around. I'm doing a couple of things. I walk past the host stand, and the host stops me. And says, hey, we got enough set guests in the bar. They need you up there, right? So I straighten my tie. All right, all right, who wants what for free? Here we go, <laughs> right? And um, I come walking up the stairs. So I come up, and I see a lady. Floating and kind of see she was, Yeah, <laughs> floating, that would have been a giveaway. Um, I no. saw someone in the night. <laughs> But no, she's standing here, very well put together. Probably early 30s, okay? okay? Um, blue ladies, well, woman's suit, so a blazer, slacks. Nice. Pinstripe, a uh, lighter blue silk blouse underneath, okay? Hair kind of pulled back, but not tight. Yeah. You know, but out of her face, looking like she just came out of a board. Just a, somewhere. a sane outfit. Yeah. Right. yeah just yeah, a very yeah, sane very outfit. Absolutely level-headed. <laughs> right, I exactly, know. okay? Absolutely. And she says, this isn't funny. You guys sneaking people around through hidden doors trying to scare your guests. And so I say, I apologize, miss. I seem to not fully be aware of what's going on. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell me the story? So she tells me the story. And the whole time, she's very articulate about it. Uh, she, she knows she saw somebody. She knows she talked to she somebody. She didn't seem inebriated She in didn't way. seem inebriated in she any way. She only had a few sips. Yeah, right? right? And, well, but who knows? Um, and it, and it those clearly, board meetings. It clearly went right, right, right through. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, okay. So yeah, so she just, she seems all there. She's very well put together, right? Yeah. And uh, so, right, okay, excuse me, miss, I apologize. Um, you know, here's all I can really tell you. You know, um, as the manager of this restaurant, I don't know who you talked to, who you didn't talk to, who you saw, who you didn't see. The only thing that I, as the manager of this restaurant, can promise you standing here is that we are not sneaking people through hidden doors in an attempt to scare you. That's the only thing that I can promise you 100%. Yeah, How not, would that benefit you not in fright any way? Fest or something <laughs> right. like. She leaves and goes, don't go there. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't help. It's you. not Hollywood it's not horror right. nights. No. Right, right. Right. Yeah, the place is haunted. you got to go. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so she's not convinced, right? So she brings me into the bathroom. Oh, here we go. We're going into the bathroom. Close the door. It's important. Okay. Okay. She makes me open up this closet door. I open up the closet door. Nothing in here but some old HVAC. And it doesn't even open all the way. Yeah, well, there's probably this. Is, well, there's more vents behind it. Yeah, it's okay. just a, like a maintenance closet. All right. Whatever. Classic closet. She comes over here. She sees this door. Set door that I oh, show you was yeah. screwed shut oh, on yeah. the other side. She sees this door, and to my dismay, she can't open it. 
right? She's convinced this is the door. I go, miss, I don't know what to tell you. That door is screwed shut on the other side. I'm happy to go show you the screws. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, I kid you not, comes over here, Gets kneels it. down, and pounds on the back of the fireplace. No kidding. Yeah. So, so this person, what? regardless of what happened, is convinced. convinced. She, she knows for Beyond. a fact yeah. She, yeah. that we've done this, that she had a conversation with somebody in this room, okay, um, that is no longer in the room. Mm -hmm. She didn't say leave the room. She's convinced she would have seen this person leave the room because she's sitting at the end of the bar, okay. right? And the whole time I'm trying to convince this thing, right? Leave. She's downstairs. Yeah. She's at yeah, a table. Yeah, right. You she's just didn't see her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just she probably took a history tour. That's how she knows. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people know a lot of the history. No, I would have seen her leave. No, I would have seen her leave. Eventually, you could see she had like a moment where her reality went upside down. Anger to fear. A, to, to confusion, to yeah. complete disbelief, to... And so she sits down right here where she said she was sitting. Okay. And the bathroom attendant was sitting here and she just sits down and she just starts sobbing hysterically. Really? Wow. And you're just standing? And I'm just standing here. And here's the part about it that, here's the part about it that to this point still gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Ah, what was sitting on this table? Glass of water. An empty glass of water. Oh. Had it been a full glass of water, I'd have chalked up to crazy right away. I'd be like, all right, she's off her meds. Yeah, yeah she looks put together. But it was an empty water glass that was sitting there. Um, so I'm full. Any kind of marks or uh, anything? No on lipstick, it? no anything. No, yeah, like no that. lipstick, right? You right. know, um, I mean, I'm looking at that hard. Yeah, sure, for I'm sure. Saying? Yeah. You but still, it, do you still have it? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Nine years I later. don't. That's, we could have, we could have sent yeah. it to the lab. Shop. So, um, Gross lab. So yeah, follow me. Absolutely. Right, you so mind? I'm, you mind if while we're in here, no, we try to communicate with whatever could be living here. What's well, good? Yeah. If you're in here, lovely bathroom attendant, say something cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I come up with a plan to convince this lady, right? Um, so we've got surveillance cameras throughout the whole house. Ah. Okay. Yeah, now, so here's the deal. So we've recently updated. Good model. Okay, it's a good model. Well, at the time, we had these old school looking ones. Not like, so good. Not so good, right? Just old. Um, yeah, just old. We had two of them, both of which show that door. Now, of course, we don't have any cameras in the restroom. It's of not course. like creepy, it's illegal. Right? But you, this can, is a legit you can tell place, if a legit legal. operation. I can tell if somebody's, <laughs> yes, you can tell if somebody's coming or going. Right. Right, because they both show that door. So I'm like, all right, lady, come on, follow me, right? So this is Command Central. This is, this, it. This is oh yeah. my. Yeah, so I bring her down in here. Okay, so let's see here. Is this the angle? We need to get uh, you, because yeah. you had the old camera. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we, I bring her in here. We fast forward, rewind, fast forward, rewind, and all you see, okay. she immediately leaves the restroom. Her and the bartender have a conversation at the end of the bar that turns heated. Mm -hmm. 45 seconds later, you see me come walking up into the bar. Wow. And me and her have a conversation. We then re-enter the restroom, and at no time during that... And then it's back to the future. Yeah. And you just reconvene. Yeah. Wow. And at no time during that do you see anybody enter or exit the restroom. Wow. So what's your take on My, I, you know... <laughs> are, you, are you a skeptic? So, um... Can you be working here? I will say this. I will say this. Um... I was a skeptic when I first started working here. Um, we got one. <laughs> uh, am I a true believer? You know that? I, you know? Until I, until I sit down and have an old fashioned with a ghost, you yeah, know right, what I'm yeah. saying? Um, but there's definitely some things here that my rational brain cannot rationalize away. Okay. You know? Um, it's huge. Yeah. So I got something else to show you. Please. Oh, this is the um, best. Okay. Carriage house. Yeah. Scourge house. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, all right, so. Oh, this smells oh, haunted. Haunted. Yeah, it smells haunted. So this it's a little, ancient. it's a little full of stuff at the moment. It's kind of turned into, Whatever. you know, yeah, kind of yeah. turned into where you know all the lost children go to die type place. Um, I can smell that. Too. Yeah, so yeah, so if you come back here, you can smell that. Yeah. Um, we got the original stables back here. Wow. wow. Horses. Kind of a modern day horse right here. <laughs> it's one of them mechanical horses. It smells haunted. Inhabited. Yeah, in by a specter or <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Am I wrong? <laughs> no, the, you're the not. Ec- ec- I'm not. The ectoplasm is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of ectoplasm. Speaking of ectoplasm. Have you ever seen any kind of. Ooze? Slimer has not jumped out of anything. Anything? Any no here. kind of ooze? Or... No ooze. No, no yeah. oozing. So you've heard it here. One of the things, <laughs> one of the things we read, or I read, was that. Uh, an old man was seen from a window. Yes. And then was asked to leave. Oh. Oh. That was on the Wikipedia. <laughs> Interesting. You ever, read, um, you ever read the Whitney Wikipedia? <laughs> I have not. I probably should. Yeah, I it's probably something I should do. They're lying about you on there. <laughs> They're so. lying about me on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with Wikipedia. <laughs> but let's let's show you the tea set. Let's show oh, you the tea the set. Tea set. <laughs> Chip, and this is Potts. This is. This is so Occupado. <laughs> Occupado? <laughs> ah. All right. Ah. No. Oh, man. Tony, you oh should have. Oh, God, Tony. So this is where it gets creepy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um. YOLO. <laughs> oh. The vast majority of the EVPs up here, kind of to your mic thing in the bathroom. Sure. Right? Um, that we get are actually children. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> and, um, and we get most, we get them in here, okay? Uh, so we've got paranormal groups. We've got an in-house paranormal group, uh, Midwest Parafest, that comes through. They, ah, they took yeah. over for some very, very good friends of mine, um, uh, the Haunt Investigators of Michigan, um, and they've all have got a lot of EVPs um, children up here. Just take a look in there. Oh yeah, do that. Before just take I... a look. I, get his reaction. Just take. Just take a look. <laughs> it is. I don't like. Oh it. No, no. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Oh no no no. Oh that is my no God. good in there. Tony, tell us about this. So this is the infamous oh. Whitney T set. Holy hell. Okay. Right, right here? Yes. It's not the original T set. We'll get to why that is here in a minute. It's okay. giving me the CBD. So the story goes, Mr. Whitney's daughter, Grace, Grace. Um, loved to sit here and have afternoon tea and watch, look out this window, watching the horses run around in the fields. That, sure. was, like, that was like her thing. Okay. TV. And none of the kids actually lived on this property. They were all full grown by the time the Whitney's moved in here. Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Whitney told his staff to always make sure that you have a tea set ready to go for Grace at her favorite spot in the window. Perfect. Okay. Um, what a guy. That's a loving father. That's a nice what a guy. Nice. Right? So he passes away in 1900. Okay. Um, Grace doesn't get back from, she was in Europe at the time, doesn't get back from Europe for about three months after his passing, mm. okay? She comes up here, tea set of course is still set, she sits down in the chair, starts sobbing hysterically, okay? She tells the staff, clean up the tea set, it's just too much emotional for I'm, me. I'm done. I, I can't handle the yeah. tea set, right? So the staff cleans up the tea set, okay? And then in the house, all this stuff, weird stuff started to happen with the china. They would find it out on a table. They'd find a teacup in the kitchen. They would find stuff broken. And um, one of the staff members started to think, hey, maybe David Whitney's a little upset in the afterlife that we cleaned up his tea set that he always had set for his daughter. So the the staff member came up here, reset up the tea set, and all the weird stuff in the house stopped. Could I touch the teacup? Go for it. You have the CBGBs and you want to touch them? I'm I'm doing research here. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, probably used for tea. That's scary. Yeah, what's all, up there? All of oh, this is, is actually kind of cool. So we'll, we'll give you a little rundown here. So, Whoa! See, yeah, you see this giant yeah. contraption right here? Yeah, now? what is that? Yeah. All right, we'll take you back downstairs and I'll show you what it okay. is. Okay. If uh, anything or anyone is, is with us now, say what's up. Want to do the shave and a haircut because they have gotten it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of do it on the table. Go for it. Are you ready? Okay. All right, so uh, look up. Yeah. Oh. You see that door? Yeah. That big door oh, right yeah, there? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So this is actually, this is crazy, okay? This is actually a carriage elevator. Oh. Gangster. Yeah, pretty gangster. That's, that's pretty gangster. Wow. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, and so whenever they, he would have a party over his house, mm-hmm. 
when there were too many too many carriages that he could fit in the garage. Put it in the loft. them off. He, he put them up in that in the attic wow. of the carriage house. He was couldn't he, wait to use that. Somebody he was like, no, no, no you, use my elevator. I'll park on the <laughs> street. No, 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 you're not, no, 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 use my elevator. Now, was it horse drawn or was it electric? It was, uh, it was hydraulic. Hydraulic. Is there a river? Uh, we're in Detroit, brother. Do you know what hydro? The is? Motor City. <laughs> yeah, but I know. But what was powering it? And it was probably electric powered hydro. Okay, 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 okay. Thanks, sir. So this is a funny story. You know how you asked me before um, if Whitney's ever come around. Yeah. Uh, so we had a lady who claimed to be the widow of like the great grandson or something like okay. that. Okay. Okay. And claimed that she met the man himself. Wait a minute now. Okay. Great yeah. grandfather. I mean, I guess it's possible. Not possible. Not, no. Okay. Not possible. All right. Yeah, because anyway. when did he die? 1917? 19, no, he died in 1900. 1900. 1900. Okay. And this was in 2000 yeah. something? Yeah. yeah, come on. Okay. Perfect, right? Yeah, that is. And uh, she claimed that the way that the elevator in the house moved, because it was the first residential elevator in the house, yeah. um, that there was a horse in the basement that would spin a wheel and to go one way, and then if you wanted to go the other way, you had to unhook the horse and turn it around. Ma'am. Yeah. Please. So I that mean, was, that, was, be, that was a good yeah, one. That would be dope. Um, well, that's our fountain. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous fountain. Gorgeous outside of the building here. It's so nice out here. You do a lot of weddings and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. So. What people like about this is because you can do, you can have a beautiful wedding. Um, Ceremony and reception in the same location. Love we, that. We do a lot of the right. ceremonies back there by the fountain. And what's what's crazy is again the magic thing. It's right there. Right so there. we've got these We're two beautiful uh, pieces of art here done by the Nordeen brothers. But this is really cool because not only is it a lovely piece of art, it's functional. Swing. That's a blast. Is that a blast? It doesn't have to it be spins scary. too. That's a good swing. <laughs> you know, this is the uh, that's the wedding shot right there. Oh, right the of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my bride to be. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Can we please scoot your ass over? I don't know. I was my weight limit is my oh, oh, I got it. I won't sit on <laughs> no, the way. You're good. You're fine. Love you so much. <laughs> All right. That is a that is fun. All right. So now this is actually really cool. Yeah. This is one of my favorite architectural tweaks oh give to it this to this property okay so at the whitney you're walking up the front steps to the front door someone's always watching you arrive oh lordy oh hello See that? and right. it's not a, wow that's and asymmetrical you, and if you yeah. come around here someone's uh, someone's watching you leave children of the forest he looks much more nervous to see you though wow cool excellent and this was designed by then, Albert Wright. I think so. Yeah, I think that's yeah. right. I had read it Wright 40 Brothers. minutes ago. I should know it's it. Same guys. <laughs> Same guys. <laughs> Architects. Pilots. Planes. Pilots. Amazing. All right, let's go. And here oh, we are. Look at this. Beautiful. Back. Yeah, I broke all that. You, yeah, you did. You definitely you broke all those. All those. <laughs> First rules right ever there. to break the rules. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, this, this was is, unbelievable. Yeah. This is perfect. Ideal. Thanks for coming out. Thank Anytime. You. I'll you be back. You'll General, be back. I'll renew my vows here. Yeah. You're, 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 you're going to put on a real shirt when you come I back. I swear yeah? to God, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, now I got to buy a real shirt. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Um, but we do got one last thing for you. Please. Um, so our house specialty is Beef Wellington. I'm and, always uh, If you want to go grab a seat at a table in there, let me go check with my chefs, see if they got uh, those prepared for you yet. <laughs> and. Uh, I'll be over in a second, right. okay? Wow. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The Whitney. It's the best day of my life. But there's usually like a thing that All makes right. the trip. Here we are. Wow. 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 That looks oh, a little, little cognac cool. cream for you. Please. Huh? <laughs> All right, dude. This looks <laughs> out. It's a great day of my life. A little cognac cream for you as Don't well. Do it. <laughs> This has been Font Lore, the Whitney, Detroit, Michigan. Part four, isn't it? Yeah, part four. We're, We're doing so good. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh. Wow. Might as well hang it up after today. Yeah, that is excellent. Come to the Whitney. Get the Wellington. The Whitney. Come see our buddy Tony. 
He'll scare the shit out of you. <laughs> and then he'll fill your bullet belly full of delicious stuff. Mm. Thank you for watching. Haunt Lore's out. Bye. Bye. This is incredible. It's actually really good. That was good. That was good for, for a first go. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a picture with the two of you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Are you kidding me?